Crime and Punishment What can be said about this that hasn't already been said by far more intelligent people? But since I listened to it, all 21 hours of it, using the Libby app, I'm going to talk about it a little. A warning if you're going to attempt to read this or anything Russian for that matter, expect names. Lots of names. Each person seems to have a minimum of three names. For example, our main character's full name is Rodion Romanovich Raskolnikov. Primarily known as Raskolnikov, he is also referred as Rodia, Rodenka, Rodka, and Rodion Romanovich. Multiply that by another dozen or more characters, and you can have quite a bit of confusion. But once you get past that, the story holds up remarkably well and seems ever more relevant today than what it was written. Now, I don't know about you, but when I think about reading the classics, I flash back to being forced to read them in high school and being then told what they should mean to me. I remember endless discussions about what colors the drapes meant. It sort of leaves a bad taste in your mouth because, let's face it, what do you know about anything at 15? Your view of yourself is most likely negative, and your worldview is hazy at best, and your teacher can't seem to understand why the classics would mean absolutely nothing to you. As time progresses, though, you may look back on these writings and actually develop some sort of idea as to what these old dead guys and gals are talking about. As someone with over a decade of experience in the medical field, I found crime and punishment interesting on a different level than I would have when I was younger, or even when I first started out in healthcare. Because the type of people I experience on a day-to-day -day basis now may very well have lives similar to those living in Dostoevsky's Russia. Now you want to get nuts! With the ever-increasing population of people living with mental health issues, depression, nihilistic viewpoints, and any other terrible thing you can think of, the realities of what Dostoevsky writes about just make a lot of sense and feel incredibly human. So what's it about? In its simplest form, Crime and Punishment follows the isolated, but brilliant university student Raskolnikov as he mopes through life and decides to take the life of a terrible pawnbroker woman in an attempt to alleviate his problems. What follows is the aftermath on his conscience, his mental health, both his social and his family life, as well as a progressive analysis of what led him to take this terrible step in the first place. Never rub another man's rhubarb. The supporting characters are not to be overlooked either, as each one of them has their own fleshed out story and motivation, all of which play into Raskolnikov's mental state. It's amazing to see how in the hundred or so years since this book's publication, people's general habits and outlooks have not changed. As you follow Raskolnikov around, you're going to feel a general sense of discomfort because you're going to realize exactly what this terrible deed has done to his soul. Crime and punishment is a lot to take in, but its concept is by no means inconceivable. Dostoevsky had to have been a brilliant man to understand the human condition to such an intense degree via his own observations. His grasp on human psychology continues to be an astounding achievement in literature, and I know for a fact that I did not get nearly everything out of it that I could have. But, I got way more out of it than I would have had someone made me read this in my more tender years. Definitely check it out.